Hi everyone, I am here with Team 900, the Zebracorns. We are going to take a look at the awesome robot they built this year. Their intake, their four bar linkage, and then their elevator, and then their new control system that they developed that they call ROS. Coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. This year, our intake, at least the side plates, are made with polycarbonate, so they have a flexible, but they're not breakable design. It's designed to take both cubes and cones using these compliant wheels and this roller on the bottom. It can supposedly intake from both the floor and the human player station, which we've demonstrated in matches a few times this year. The arm is what we call our four bar. Uh, so it is run by two Falcon motors, and all of it is run by these belts here, 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 so that they all move together. Thank you, and I notice you have a tensioning mechanism on your belts. I know other teams might be interested in that due to the difficulty in getting belts tension right. So we actually have a very uh, sophisticated, it's called a zip tie um, on these belts. Uh, we we've, we've, we've recently had to deal with that, but what you're really more interested in are these. These tensioners are something we've developed as a team a while back. It is a 3D printed piece here with some Delrin spacers and a number eight bolt going through here and here. This way we can get really good tension on this. I mean, you can see if we flick it, it hardly moves. The other important thing about this is it actually can move up and down throughout a match. We had some real difficulties when we were testing this out that a lot of the movement in this, if we try to do a static spacer, if you could bring the four bar up for just a second, would cause all of the tensioning force to get either too great or too loose as we moved. So by putting it on both sides and allowing that the freedom of movement, we actually get really good tension through all of our positions on the four bar. Thank you. It's really interesting to hear this. I will pass it back to you to talk a little bit more about the elevator. That Pass to Vincent to talk more about the elevator. All right. So our elevator is driven by two Falcons. We actually took a lot of the parts for, for it from our 2019 bot design, and it consists of a standard HTD 5M belt and it's two-stage, and we use the uh, Andy Mark bearing blocks, which fit really well with the Max tubes. And so basically, it can go up. Move the intake out, please. It can go up. And once it reaches the top of that stage, the second stage will go up too, to give us a max height of around there. Pretty cool, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of different pulleys that connect to each other and give it its two-stage nature. And one thing about this elevator is that in code, we have to make sure that the four bar doesn't touch this. We've had a lot of success with them in the past, so we figured why not do it again? Like in 2019, we also used a belt. Interesting, valid point. I will now hand it to Ben to talk more about their custom control system and the programming they've done this year. Yeah, so we're one of the only FRC teams to use ROS, the robot operating system. It's like used in industry and academia for controlling robots, and we've been using it since 2018. Um, so it allows us, our goal is to have a fully autonomous robot, and it allows us to have a lot more control. We have a really good simulation environment, so we can drive our robot around on a simulated field, and we can also simulate motors. And so we don't have to change our code at all. It's just running our code under simulation instead of talking to the real motors. So, yeah. Um, Another cool thing we're doing is we're actually running object detection on our camera so we can localize the cones and cubes on the field and it's really helpful for driver assistance. We've also been able to align to the grid using April tags in our lab, but we haven't had a chance to do it on the field yet. We hope to have it for our next event though. So you use the LEDs for signaling and then it's also awesome to see more teams adopting a more autonomous approach to, to having the control system be more accurate and more precise. 
And is, you use the LEDs for signaling, is that right? Uh, yeah, we use it to tell us what auto mode we have so that we don't choose the wrong one. Okay. We also, we also use the LEDs. We also use the LEDs during a match. So these we are actually controlling on code to change them to both yellow and purple to signify to the human player what game piece we want, which is really convenient as we go up into the, so that way they can already have it preloaded, dropping it, and further reduce our cycle time. Awesome. Well, thank you guys again for, giving, for doing this interview. I wish you the best of luck during competition, and thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash FIRST updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.